It was a normal evening for Alaska Air National Guard rescue crews deployed in Djibouti. That is, until they received notification a Royal Saudi F-15 fighter jet crashed while conducting air combat operations over Yemen, forcing its two air crew members to eject over the Gulf of Aden. It was a little bit surreal because uh, we had gotten very little uh, warning that we might be involved. Um, and so to get called in completely cold and see up on the whiteboard, wow, okay, Saudi F-15. Here we go. Uh, that was kind of my reaction. Uh, and then when we plotted the coordinates and they were in the water, we said, okay, let's just go. The HC-130 and HH-60 Pavehawk helicopter crews were given minimal information upon embarking on the search and rescue mission. Pretty much almost no details. The fact that we knew that we had two, one or possibly two lives that were uh, survivors that were still alive and depending on us to get to them as soon as possible. The HC-130 arrived first in the area. They were then able to pinpoint a location when they saw a pen flare launch from the two survivors. Every experience, uh, I've done you know, probably a dozen rescues, uh, every experience is different. And this one, it was, it was a great feeling amongst the crew. It's, uh, it's like, like you just won the Super Bowl or something like that, but that's just, the be that's just the beginning of the work at that point. So you find the survivors, but then you have to develop a game plan. The crews faced several challenges throughout the rescue mission, including dark skies with illumination near zero. When you're around the city of bright lights and that sort of stuff, it's a, it's a little bit annoying. But then when you get out where there's no other type of light, um, then uh, the, these devices gain down and it makes it it's challenging. Uh, I'm not going to say it's easy. Once the Pavehawk helicopters arrived on scene, pararescue men secured and safely hoisted the survivors. We were amazed at how quickly everything happened. Uh, from, from the time that we got alerted to the time we had those guys safely back uh, in Africa on the U.S. base was uh, about two hours. The entire operation was the first Air Force night water combat search and rescue mission since the Vietnam era. The Alaska Air National Guard's rescue squadrons were awarded Rescue Mission of the Year by the Jolly Green Association. Knowing the people that have done this job before me and it, it's an honor to be, you know, named along the, them and some of the best aviators that I've known. So in that regard, I'm very honored. For your Alaska Link, I'm Christina Loeb.